All right, what is going on guys? In today's video, we are gonna be talking about five ways you can use AI, the power, the magic of AI in your web designs. For number one, we are gonna be using Mid Journey. So just say a client comes to you and they are wanting a new website. Now, generally what I would do in this case, I would look at who their competitors are, their price point, the look and feel that they want, and I would base my design off of that. But once you kind of know those things, you might wanna get inspiration from other places because it's one thing to find a website that you like, that is similar, and then design off of that. But if you're looking for something a bit more unique, Mid Journey can actually be really good for giving you some inspiration. So let's have a look at that. As you can see, I've already tested this out a little bit, but let's take a prompt like this. So if you go slash imagine prompt, a full website UI design for a website selling luxury mountain bikes, and then you can add in different parameters like Figma, Dribble, UI, UX, things like that can give it a better idea of what to generate an image from. And here, this is important. So we have aspect 916. That's gonna give us a portrait style image, which is gonna be useful because it's gonna show us more of a page rather than just a hero section. We're even gonna throw in another parameter here. Beautiful, because why not? Now these are not gonna be perfect whatsoever, but the main purpose is just to get some inspiration from these, mainly on the composition, the images, the structure, but you can also get a really good idea of color just by using Mid Journey. These are already looking pretty good. I do like the large sort of hero section with the bike. Obviously that is the most important thing. Underneath you have description and specifications. Now from all of these, I can get inspiration, but let's just choose version four, which is this one here. And I'm gonna up res that and that's gonna give us a bigger image that we can work from. So you can see AI does not do a great job when it comes to text, but it really doesn't have to because that's not why we're using it in this case. You get an idea of layout, there's a header, there's some of your links, that's your navigation and big product image there and some information about your product. We're gonna use this as a base. Look at that, it already looks good. So that is step one, complete inspiration. Now for the next step, what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna quickly design something based off of the design that we've pulled from Mid Journey. So let's go into here, let's create our design and let's start working with what we have. here I've just made very quickly a rough header which looks a little bit like the one on the left I've grabbed some of the colors the styling that um, nice orangey yellow that it's giving us I've not spent too long on it but this video is about how to use AI and I don't want to get stuck into the design part too much now we're gonna use AI in a different way imagine a yellow luxury mountain bike just throwing out a bunch of keywords here this time we're gonna go 16.9. So now hopefully it's gonna give us some examples of images which might look similar to this. They might be completely different. Now obviously if you're working on a website for a client, a mountain bike company, they would probably have their own images. A lot of the time in web design, you have a client that'll come to you and they want a website and they don't actually have any assets. It might be really early days for the company, so you might have to design and convey the type of images that the client might want to then see and then go away and recreate themselves. It, it happens quite a lot. So we've got a few images here and these look really good. I'm gonna go with this one here. Let's up-res that. We're gonna up-res two and then we're gonna use another AI tool which has just came out. Right, so time we're gonna take it into Photoshop. Now I am actually using the new Photoshop, the beta one, which has this generative AI feature, which is really useful and I'll show you why. So if we take, we go to the canvas tool and we increase our canvas here. Right, so we're gonna take this and then we're gonna inverse that. I'll be honest, I haven't been using this generative fill too much yet. It, it has just came out, but the power of it is crazy when it works. 
So it's given us three variations. And as you can see, it does an amazing job. So that's the first one. It's the second one. It's the third one. I'm liking this one. And this is what we had before. We just had this image and Photoshop has turned it into this, which is really useful if we want to use it bigger and have more control when we bring it into Figma. Look at that. Look at the size of that image. Completely AI. So for example, if we just chucked in what we had before, it was this. Now, as you can see, this doesn't leave us that much to work with. We have to scale it up or using Photoshop to expand on your generated images is really handy when it comes to web design. So we use Midjourney for inspiration. We use Midjourney for images and now we've used Photoshop for adapting and resizing those images. For the fourth thing, we're gonna be using everyone's favorite, ChatGBT, to write us some content for this hero section. So, write me a short headline for a luxury mountain bike website. ChatGPT is completely free. You can pay for it, but I don't, so it can be quite slow sometimes. Give me five more variations, please. Always gotta be nice to AI. You gotta keep them sweet. So when AI turns on us, you would be like, I was one of those guys that said, please. Elevate your writing experience. Yeah, I like that. So we're gonna use that. Okay, now we need to make that text stand out a little bit. So what we could do, we could add something like that, but that's not what we want. We're gonna add some gradient on top of this. So if we add a radial gradient on this bottom bit, just a subtle one here, just so that can be seen. And we're gonna add another one too, but we might actually add a linear gradient here. Now we can now play with this. So we're just playing around here with ideas. Here we have another generated image, which we can just chuck in. Chuck it into this section down here. Now we'll ask ChatGPT, write me an about section that outlines the key benefits to a luxury mountain bike. So just to use some of this dummy content, chuck this in here. So we'll just grab this section, pull this down. So that is all we've got for today's video. So, so we use Midjourney, we use Photoshop, and we use ChatGPT to get inspiration and then turn it into your own design. But hopefully that was useful for you guys. If it was, please hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel if you guys like this sort of content. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys soon with another video. Remember to be nice to AI.